Hey tires, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern called the Swamp Rabbit. This is a pattern by Bob LeMay and it was designed for backcountry tarpon at a time when anglers were just starting to realize that the flies that they were using to target tarpon needed to be a little bit scaled down. So this one's tied on a size 2 aught, but not just limiting this to tarpon I would also really want to use this for going after pike um, so a couple different color combinations you could use on this this is the black and red version for the tarpon you could also use like a, an orange and yellow chartreuse and white or brown and chinchilla but for pike I would uh, I would use this red and black also red and white um, and black and blue perhaps anything you'd want to try so let's have a look at the materials for this one and get started Get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad C70SD and this is a 2 watt. This is the Mustad signature big game. So this 2 watt hook is a little bit probably about the size limit for this Griffin Mongoose. So if I was going to go any bigger I'd probably switch to my regal vise. It's a little bit better at holding the bigger hooks. And for thread I'm using a flat wax nylon in red. And we're just going to start off by putting a layer of thread just as a nice base. I'm going to go down to the bend of the hook. Trim that tag. And we'll come back to about around the halfway point. So there's a couple things you could do. You could put a uh, piece of monofilament on here and just make a loop. Um, but we're actually going to use a little bit of bucktail. I've got some nice long black bucktail. I'm going to take a small section of this. I'm just going to pull out any short hairs, don't need those, and just going to even up the long tips a little bit. So I like to have this a little bit longer than the hook shank. I'm going to extend that off the back. Then we'll just trim that up. Tie that in. This will kind of help us see where we can start the front part of our fly as well. And so this is going to act as a foul guard so that the rabbit strip on the back isn't going to wrap around the hook so easily. So we'll just uh, give that a few wraps. Just want to make sure you don't put your wraps really heavy right at the back. If you do this hair will flare. So a little bit looser near the back, but you can give your really heavy wraps up here on the uh, base of the of the uh, bucktail. All right, so next we're going to take a bit of black rabbit strip. So we're just going to measure that. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tag area to tie in and then you just want that to extend a little bit further than the bucktail. So cut that and what I like to do with this I just like to run my scissor under there and just take a little bit of the hair off of the leather just to Gives it a little bit more purchase there. 
and we'll tie that right on top of the hook shank. You can see how that really props up that rabbit strip. Alright, next we're going to take about four strands of crystal flash. Just a pearl crystal flash. We're going to tie those in same length as the tail, right at the side of the hook. Give that a few wraps back, then we're going to cross it over and bring it down the other side. And then we'll just uh, trim that out at the back. Alright, so next we're going to wrap our body. So we're going to go back to this rabbit strip. And again, I'm going to take a little bit of hair off the leather. Save that for dubbing or something. Then we're just going to flip that over. So the hair is running in this direction. Tie that down. Make sure you have that in there tight. And we're going to put our thread right where we ended our bucktail. Just to wrap forward. So then we flip that over. And then we'll be able to stroke that hair backwards. Not sure what's up with this rabbit strip. It's a little weird. The might have got a little bit too hot in the uh, in the dye. It's the uh, it's not brittle, but it's looks a little waxy, I guess. The leather. It's not supple, but it wraps fairly nicely. So we'll not complain too much. All right. So where we want to tie off, we just kind of separate the hair. We'll pull forward and then just going to wrap our thread in there. And before I give that tight wraps, just want to make sure everything's where we want it. Okay, that looks good. So then we'll give a few tight wraps just to secure it in place. And then we'll trim out the tag end of that. Now we're going to bring in our red rabbit strip. You can tie it in upside down again. So we're going to take a little bit of the hair off the strip. Turn that upside down. Actually we're going to go on the other end do that. So you want the hair to be kind of moving in the opposite direction so that it sweeps back properly. Otherwise you're going to get it poofing standing up not exactly what you want. We'll just tie that in back to the where the black's tied. Then we're going to put our thread right up to the eye. We'll flip that over. We're just going to wrap that three or four wraps forward. There we go, and we'll just separate the hair. There we go. Trim that off. Just uh, if you have wet hands, it kind of helps this part here. So we're just going to have to build up a little bit of a head. So it's nice to have that extra bulk underneath there. Just want to make a nice taper. 
Sorry for the squeak. That's pretty good. And we're just going to add a couple whip finishes. So when I do the eyes on this, I will give this a coat of head cement and let it dry completely before I start putting the eyes on. But then I'll do that in two stages. So I'll add head cement, put on white pupils, add head cement, put on my black, and then another coat of head cement. So you get a really nice uh, build up of the head here. So we'll uh, put white on this, then I'll switch out the fly. So all I've got is my half toothpick. We'll just dip that in a little bit of paint. We'll come in here. Give that. We'll float that to the other side. There you go, we'll let that dry. And then we'll let me switch this fly out for you. And we'll just go ahead and we'll do the same with our black paint. But I just used the other end of the toothpick for that so it's smaller. Let that dry and give it a coat of head cement. It'll be good to go. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.